it's good to finally meet you. My name is Tim Walker. I'm the chief instigator and founder of the Grilled Cheese Invitational. This is the eighth time we've done it, and clearly it is the dumbest. We're here with uh, Tim Walker, the creator of the... Most definitely, yes. The okay. chief instigator and founder of the Grilled Cheese Invitational is my official nomenclature. One, what, at what point and moment did you know that this was going to be... Uh, uh, tell us a little bit about that moment. Um, I think I think the zenith, is that yes. the right term? Yeah. The zenith of the Grilled Cheese Invitational took place when... Um, Probably, I'd say, back in 2007. It was still a private event that we were just doing at an underground warehouse in downtown L.A. Okay. And even though it was an underground event, we still had, like, over 700 people show up. There were newspaper reporters, all sorts of people driving around downtown L.A. trying to find the event. They had heard about it, and they were like, I have to go to it. And what's worse is that we had one of the editors for Los Angeles Magazine was driving all around downtown Los Angeles trying to find it. And he didn't actually find it, but he drove right past us. He told me his route, and I'm like, if you only rode down your window, you would have smelled the melted butter and the, and, the, and the cheese, and you would have probably crashed into a telephone pole, got out of the car, and come into the event. And it would have been fantastic. Yeah, that's amazing. So yeah, it, that, was the, that was the time when it, we just realized, I can't do this as a private event anymore. No matter what I try to do, it's just gonna be too big, so I might as well make it a public event before somebody else does. Old English traditional country style recipe. So what's, what's the secret? What's the secret? Yeah. Bread, butter, cheese. You heard it here first, folks. Wait, what is this? We have our medium and our sharp cheddar cheeses. It's an all natural cheese made in Tillamook, Oregon. And uh, they've been farmer owned since 1909. So there's 110 family farms that actually produce all the milk that goes into making the cheese. And they own the co op. Have you seen it? I live in Tillamook. Yeah. Oh, you actually, do? Yeah, oh, my God. Farm. That yeah, is so that cool. Is there. That is so cool. <laughs> We're going to go ahead and try some of these. Please do. This is the sharp cheddar. It's been aged naturally for just over nine months. Uh, the only difference between these two cheddars is the medium's aged 60 days, the sharp nine months, but it's the same recipe to begin with. Oh, sorry. sorry. That's okay. Not and problem. it's been the same recipe since day one. Since 1909. Since 1909. But the cheese today. isn't since 1909. We're kind of boring. <laughs> we actually have batches that have been yeah. sitting there since 1909. Really? Yep. They keep one block from every batch they've ever made. Oh my god. Yeah. Yes. Yep. Yeah. This is the Tillamook Sharp Chair. Oh wow. Natural. Right, awesome. No preservatives whatsoever. Right, awesome. Oh. I'm squinting. I shouldn't be squinting. I'm gonna go get another piece. <laughs> Stephanie. Stephanie, do you mind if you tell us a little bit about this sandwich that I'm going to eat right now? Sure, this is uh, Mark Peel's Classic Grilled Cheese Sandwich. It's been served at Campanile for over 20, for about 20 years now. Um, it is Gruyere cheese, La Brea Bakery sourdough bread, whole grain mustard, and marinated onions. And where are you located? Lo uh, Campanile is... 624 South La Brea Avenue. Look at you, reading behind me. Yes, you <laughs> made me freeze because I wanted to give you my place which is 8522 National. Wait, wait, get that. We got that? Okay, that's good. What's nice about this is that it's not too overpowering. The mustard is not overpowering and the onions aren't overpowering. Very light. Great summer treat. There you are. This peach ginger with that last grilled cheese, that's the ticket. Tell us a little bit about um, Think. Think is a functional beverage that's uh, all naturally sweetened and it contains uh, vitamins and electrolytes. Right? Very good. Uh, let's have a uh, shot sure. of this here. We may want to try a couple of flavors here. Okay, we will try a couple of flavors. One for three. We've got citrus and the berry. So this is the berry. That's the berry. This is citrus. So that's the berry, which is this one here. All natural? All natural. What's it sweetened with? Sweetened with stevia. Stevia. Oh, stevia. Nice. yes. Oh, perfect. Good stuff. Yeah, good, good stuff. stuff. Yes. Really yes. good. Very nice. Very light. Very light. Very light and refreshing. Now, do we have to make sure that's edible? You want me to try some of that and make sure that it's, uh, so nobody gets ill? <laughs> Are you the FDA? I'm the FDA. Look at that. Ask and you shall receive. Yes. Thank you very much. Sharp cheddar, ham, tomato, soup, infused bread. Very nice. You know what actually works with this? The ham makes this sandwich. Brings everything together.
Very nice. I don't know what it is, but it's good. <laughs> what do we got going on back there? We got a creamy short boy. Creamy three apples, fennel, short ribs. Short ribs. Short ribs. Whoa. All right. Very nice. Oh, and love. And love. And love. Absolutely. We got love too. Now, are you using the same love as him, or is that a different? <laughs> Look at that. Fennel, short ribs, apple, and brie. Oh my god. What is this? This is the Havarti green apple oh, wow. and olive bread. Is that a bag of pop rocks over there? Pop rocks on a grilled cheese sandwich? <laughs> Chicken and pop rocks in there. <laughs> Tell us a little bit about your sandwich there. Absolutely. This is the cheese is the bread. It's a halloumi cheese from Cyprus. It doesn't melt. It's a grillable cheese. On the inside, homemade egg bread and plum jam. Very nice. Inside. Tell us a little bit about your uh, sandwich there. Sweet and tangy Texan. It's got steak marinated in Maker's Mark, Dr. Pepper, garlic, Uh, yes, please. Tell us a little bit about your um, magnificent grilled cheese sandwich here. It's a banana nut bread without the banana. The blackberries and strawberries are soaked in red marnier and rose sugar. Uh, and uh, the cheese is ricotta mascarpone, uh, Havarti, and mozzarella with uh, lemon and orange zest and cinnamon and powdered sugar. And a partridge in a pear tree. The honey dipper. Italian sweet bread cheese is mascarpone, cream, uh, goat, dried cranberries, candied cashews, blue raisins, sugar, honey, butter, orange zest, dark chocolate, vanilla, and love. <laughs> that looks like a lot of love there, baby. Oh, it's delicious. <laughs> well, tell, us, uh, tell us a little bit about what we got, uh, we got going on here. Well, this is a, uh, uh, a little... Uh, House made duck confit uh, and uh, foie gras that we seared and, and macerated a little bit. There you are. Thank you. Uh, we're using a cave aged gruyere and um, we're frying the, the sandwich in a little bit of duck fat, a little bit of clarified butter, and a touch of truffle oil, and also on the sandwich, uh, some braised red onion and a little drizzle of a um, uh, chestnut paste that has a little bit of lavender. Wow. Oh, that's chestnut paste? What's that? What, what was the name again? We had, <laughs> from the beginning, that was a lot of stuff. Mm -hmm. Chestnut paste, you heard chestnut. Oh, oh my yeah. god. Uh, the French Connection. French Connection. Tell us a little bit about it. So what it is, it's just French baguette, sautéed mushroom, uh, pepper jack cheese, and guacamole. Awesome. Yeah, we use this French butter, which is really soft. Really, it's actually really good. It's one of my Who came up with the idea? Actually, I did. I just, uh, we just sat down and just like thought about it. Were you stoned when you created it? We were. Yeah. We were stoned. Well, I was, and I gave it a little thumbs up. So. <laughs> Thank you very much. Enjoy it. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. That is nice. Very nice. Avocado and mushroom together. And a heap of butter, man. Just a heap of butter on there. <laughs> okay, so this is our fifth sample. This is the uh, the otter on here. We have uh, roasted bell peppers, uh, asparagus, uh, Havarti on a sourdough. So it took me like two or three days. Wow, very nice. You know what I like about this? What's that? It's got cheese on it.